Hello. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Obviously. <coughs> Thank you for not having a water. Why put it there now? Just stop the branding on. Don't do that. Some have described this week as the greatest week of football and entertainment. Obviously, Sunday could be the culmination of that as well. What are your thoughts? Yeah, it would be cool. <laughs> it was a week, a week not, I'm not sure of miracles, um, but of big football moments. And um, from our point of view, it could be a big football moment. For us as well, on the weekend it would be nice. The week is not over yet, eh? so it's um, Sunday counts to uh, this week, not to next week. So um, of course we go for that, but we, 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 that's the only. Nothing changed really. Uh, we knew it before. It's all good. Um, I think most of the people expected me to sit here today and say, okay, after not being in the Champions League final now, um, it's pretty difficult to become champion. Now we are in the Champions League final. It's still difficult. To be a champion, and so that's how it is. And um, but the only job, the only thing we can do is to to win the game. And um, in, in this situation, obviously, it looks like Wolves and Brighton are only like well, they are there. But City will win, and we will win, and then at the end, City is champion. But we have to there's the, the game to play, and um, Wolves with ambitions because they showed the whole year real ambition. They enjoyed their football. They, are seventh in an unbelievable competitive league from getting promoted last year. So it's it's pretty special. They played wonderful football, a lot of moments that are difficult to play, good defending, sensational counter-attacking, scoring obviously in the right moments, um, staying calm and composed in, 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 in the in important moments of a game. So it's, Nuno's doing an incredible job there. And um, so that makes our game so uh, pretty difficult, and on the other hand side, Brighton. Um, yeah, what can I say? They it's their last home game in the in the, in the Premier League season. They know now they will have another one next year for sure. And um, how I know this team, they are full of joy for football, so they will try everything as well. So both teams have to win their games. That's what I want to say, and um, that's not um, sure in that moment. And so we have to focus on that. As well as the incredible title race. Four English sides in the finals of European competition as well. What does that say about the Premier League overall? Um, I know what people say. Well, I think what people say about it is it's um, money and stuff like that. Um, but I think in the, if you look at the, not only the semi-finals, but if you go if you look at the way um, Tottenham took to the final with all the difficulties um, after a short summer break um, and we are missing a lot of players, stuff like that. It's not It's not about money, it was both. We go, went through because of our desire and Tottenham is the same. So it was difficult. Huh? I think the, the may, maybe most people would have expected me involved in the Champions League final would be maybe Man City and Bar against Barcelona. So that, that then there's only one. Um, English would only on one English side uh, be involved. Um, European League, there was Napoli in, there was um, a lot of difficult. Valencia obviously was difficult as well. Frankfurt did a wonderful job. Um, but Napoli, uh, I think Atletico from a specific point on, I'm not 100% sure, but um, really strong sides involved. So, And it's not, they are not weaker than we are or, or in, in this competition, especially. Um, so, yeah, it's. I don't think it will happen a, a lot of times, to be honest, but this year it's nice. Um, for England, obviously, at least the, the, the big clubs in England want to stay with all they have in Europe. You didn't understand that now, <laughs> because the rest of the country doesn't want that. Yeah, I mean, don't do politics. You don't even understand. Sorry, that's my language. Yeah, I really thought that's a good one. Yeah, I'm just going to carry on then. Yeah. Uh, just with the injury list at, at the moment. The famous three words of this week is um, in the dressing room, maybe four words, it's only pain. 
Yeah, very important for all the young lads to learn. Said it already to the boys. Um, Hendo said, it's only pain. Robo said, it's only pain, but it was real pain. Wow. Um, and unfortunately, Robo couldn't, Robo could deal with the pain, only the rest of his body not, because he couldn't really activate the muscle anymore. There was some nerve hit or whatever. Um, they should be fine. The other question? But where, who else? Uh, Bobby, yeah, not for the weekend. Um, but, yeah, when we have time, and that should be enough. More. Look good around the celebrations after the game. <laughs> yesterday he was, yes, the day before yesterday, and yesterday he was um, running outside, and it will be part of training today. And so two more matches and two more wins will guarantee you at least one trophy. Have you given yourself a moment to think about how you feel about that? No. Why should I? I knew it before the season, if we win the Champions League final, then um, we have a trophy. <laughs> Nothing changed, only that we are now part of it. Um, no. I didn't think that far ahead, and um, really, it's only it's only Wolves. It's it's a challenge in a week like this, because uh, you get millions of messages, and nobody speaks about the weekend. It's all about unbelievable how you played and stuff like that, and all the best, and now you do it, and blah blah blah. All the things we do. We play Wolves, and we know that, and we will we are focused on that, and um, that's all. Does make the. The achievement of, of Tuesday night uh, only a little bit smaller. It's, it was incredible, but for sure it was for sure one of the best moments in football history. Not only Liverpool, uh, that's for sure. But um, has nothing to do with the weekend. Apart from that, we should be confident enough uh, for the game. But it's always an important part of football. But Wolves want to show that they are uh, not only passengers and that they are really a, they are real, real good football team. And I respect that a lot. So we have to be ready. Another consistent for you this season has been consistency in terms of what you do outside of matches. You, you like to do, keep doing things the same in terms of the way that you do your training and, and things like that, and you, you tweak when necessary. But in a week of improbable moments and miracles and highs and lows, for everyone, how, how do you manage to, to keep on that consistency, to keep the focus with everybody? You mentioned before about the, the focus of Bulls and Brighton. How do you guys? Coaches. Oh, who? Everyone in this football. Oh, but it's it's not a real problem. It's just it's a, it's a look as a football player you are you and a manager as well you are you are used to to okay we are not used to moments of glory but you win from time to time football games you are used to 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 um, to, to deal with that and unfortunately we have to learn pretty early in our lives that how to deal with defeat so that that's what we know but staying on focus staying on track is not a problem we have to, to we are not we're not kids anymore, so um, we, are, we are adults and we, we, we deal with that. The day after when we came in and was recovery, you, you can imagine you need a hammer to, 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 to punch the smile out of the faces, but um, that's just, uh, um, uh, that's clear, but there's not a day of information, that's a day of recovery and good feeling and, and coming together and do the right things to bring the boys back on, yeah. Um, on another fitness shape and uh, level, and that's now. Yesterday was off. We did it. They made the day off for the boys, and um, so good for them. Today we start again and now prepare the game. It's really we are not that much in routines that we have to do it always the same way. We we reacted the whole year pretty pretty um, flexible on 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 different things because it was so intense for the boys. So we I, I think we had much more days off on on days I would never have done it before in my life as a manager. Because just the intensity was so big that I said, okay, come on, stay at home. It's not too good. It's not too cool. Maybe we could train a little bit, but you have to. You need to get used to things like that, to the intensity of the league. And this year was again a very intense year, and will be again an intense year. And on the first of June, we play a Champions League final, and on the sixth of June, there's a wonderful tournament which is called Nations Cup. And. Everybody looked at me when I said, that's not such a good idea. And now, whoops, it's a surprise. Two teams are in the Champions League final and they are English. And if there would be a Dutch team in, then it would not be not better. Only for another country, the problem. So it's just, if we don't learn, if we don't learn um, to deal with our players in a better way, competition-wise, then it's the only chance to kill this wonderful game. Because without the players, it's not a good one. Huh? So, and that's, but now... Um, 
other people have to deal with that. And I don't. It's not Gareth's fault, obviously. But um, planning something like this and being surprised that two top teams are in the Champions League final and a lot of players of these teams are involved in the Nations Cup. That's interesting planning. If we would plan like this, we would be completely surprised every weekend that there's another Premier League game. Yeah, so, and um, thank God we are not. Okay, we've got quite a few broadcasters in, but I believe regulars first. Do you have anything for you from the leader? It may sound stupid and ridiculous, but like, you have much sleep because of the intensity, the happiness, the adrenaline. Everything from Tuesday night just seems to sort of just, <laughs> seems to just keep rolling and rolling and rolling. Yeah. Well, as much as I obviously need to. Um, um, yeah, no problem. The, the, the time is intense in, in general, so it was not only the Champions League game didn't make it more intense or whatever. We had to play it anyway. Um, and yeah, after a game like this, I, I'm. Meanwhile, I'm completely rather done than the other way around. So it means then I'm, I can sleep very well so on pretty early if possible. Um, the only problem is um, that all the other guys in my age group know that we wake up pretty early and during the night three times as well. So, um, <laughs> yeah. so um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, no, no, no worries. I'm, I'm fine. Anything else, Jules? Yeah, it's just a quick one because I was just thinking when you said that in terms of what's happened in Europe this week, it doesn't happen very often, um, but obviously it's, it's been quite good for four teams. In terms of the Premier League um, title race going forward, I mean, whatever happens, you'll finish on 97. You can't do much more than that, I guess, City. Will finish First we have to win. Yes. Then it would be 97, yeah. They will finish on 98. But do you think we'll see that again in the I... future? Is this like setting a trend now? <laughs> There are not enough points that a lot of teams can, uh, in general, um, that um, a lot of teams can get so many points because um, other teams will get them as well. But um, I don't know. I don't know. The only thing is the, the difference between City, us, and other teams who are for sure quality-wise not worse. It was consistency. That's why we are. Well, that's why we have the amount of points. That's it. And we pushed each other in this in this thing. Well, it's, it's so exceptional that you lose only one game so far. And City, I don't know, um, they lost three, I don't know exactly, but uh, they didn't draw, obviously. Um, and um, so it's so it's really rare, but it's not important that next year again it's, it's for being champion and not for collecting 500 points. Um, if, if, if somebody becomes champion with 67 points or 70 points, deserved. It's a, it's a difficult season then in another manner. So and this year, another kind. Um, and this year um, we have to obviously to win each game to have a chance. But I, I don't know if it will happen um, a lot more. Okay, Mike. Jürgen, Anfield as a stadium and the fans that, that go there, there's, there's a history of its mythical qualities, started off by Bill Shankly, carried on by others. How do you think you've been able to forge these, this special bond that you have with the fans? Because it, it isn't given to all managers that they have this following that becomes a, a big part of, of the success of the team? I don't know. Well, I, I don't know. Um, it's all about, if that's possible in Liverpool, then it's in, mainly about the supporters, about the people and not about me, because um, um, they have to deal with me. I'm an individual and they think it's good or not good. I have, I have If I want to love the Liverpool fans, I have a lot more a bigger choice. <laughs> Um, because there are so many different people and they have to deal with me, with my correct character and all that stuff. So that's how it is. So I have no clue that that boss is a pure, how it always is in life. It's luck or a coincidence that it, that it fits so well, but it is. It is a, a, a proper um, fit, but it's all about the performance of the boys. I could be the most funny guy in the world. If the boys would not play good football, nobody would laugh about my jokes. That's my life. And... Um, that's um, how it is. So it's all about the boys. It's always about the boys. They have to deliver whatever information I give them. If they don't take it, no chance. And um, the group of players we have here is is so special. If I have to, since Tuesday, maybe Wednesday morning, if I have to, to find a, a, a very short description for the group, I would say it's only pain. That's how they went through the season. Um, it was always pain, um, it was always hard, it was always difficult, but it's only pain. Let's carry on. 
in Wolves, your final opponent, you could hardly have more difficult opposition because they're better against the top six sides than they are the bottom six. They're better when they have less possession. They play with proper wing backs. So, you know, they really are a talented team away from home. Oh, yeah, generally a talented team, yeah. But of course, it's a big challenge when you when you are developing. Then you create one style of play, what Nuno you know, obviously did, um, and then. Um, Immediately in the Premier League, you realize, ah, the other one is not on the same level. So, my, like creating, having possession, passing around. But they are not bad in that as, uh, as well. They have um, Moutinho in midfield, Ruben Neves in midfield, whoever plays with the boys there, um, they, they, they don't go, whoever. Um, that's, um, that's just, it's just quality. But they, what, they, what they have, the quality is, is big. But what they have, they created really a style of play where everybody. Um, it signs in. All the players want to be part of that style of play, so they could play. I think that's pretty rare, but I think apart from two or three games, they played exactly the same three players in the last line. The whole year. it's unbelievable. So um, that's that's really that's really rare, and they have um, good spirit, good good match plan. It's just it's just good, and so that makes them obviously. Yeah, but now we don't play the first time against a team who's really good in counter attacks. So if we have and we play, then that's that's normal that, that that we have to take care for that, and that's what we will do. And um, for sure, but um, how I said, three days until we have to play. Until then, we will be prepared. I'm sure. Is this going to be the last time Anfield sees the likes of Daniel Sturridge and Alberto Moreno? I don't know. We will, we will see. <laughs> so, obviously, are both ending contract. Yeah, finished. Yeah, I cannot make that sign. <laughs> <laughs> the others have the camera. <laughs> wow. Uh, um, I, it's possible, but um, we will see. Nothing. I can say. I would, my, my favorite answer would be: I don't talk about um, contracts and thing, things like this. When well, they have still a contract, right? So I don't talk about contracts, um, if, even if they finish after the season. Nothing to say, really. It's not the time for for, for these things. But the, the, the only important thing in this moment is that the players know and we know, yeah, not the rest of the world. Anything else, Carl? Uh, yeah, just on the Champions League. And getting to the final, obviously, and everything. Do you have some sympathy with the fans who are now scrambling to get tickets? To oh, 100%. Oh, 100%. Um, I always thought the worst thing is what petrol stations are doing when the holiday time starts, so when they increase out of the blue, the, the, all of a sudden the, the prices. But obviously, travel agencies and, um, and, and hotels um, are not. Silly, um, yeah, it's it's difficult. It, I, I, but I think with Madrid, even it's expensive. That's clear, unbelievably expensive. But at least it's not another part of the world. But going to Baku in a, a European League final, that's um, really funny. I think obviously these guys who make the decisions, I don't know what they have for breakfast really when they do it because it's just how can you? Last year we go to Kiev, which is a wonderful city. But that a Russian team or a team from that part of the world will be involved is not really likely. So um, then you go there and everybody has to prepare. Now, obviously, Madrid has to be prepared for, I don't know, 200,000 English fans. They knew before that it could happen. Um, if the Ajax would be in, yeah, there would be a few more Dutch. I can imagine that. So and now in Baku, I have no clue how to go there, if there's any regular flight at all. So, and if how that's how I say we meet in these, it's. These decisions, they must must be much more sensible, much more reasonable. It's it's just it looks like, and responsible for for especially. I don't know how how they do it, but um, and maybe there's kind of a, in the cities they get the final. I don't know. They have to make kind of a price cut before to agree to something that it will be not more than this in a specific category. I heard now a room which you can get usually for one hundred um, pound is it's now two thousand seven hundred. It's just, it's just crazy. So, um, yeah. What can I say? I sympathise a lot with that. Yeah, of course. Okay. Just another two regular. David, anything from you? Neil, anything from you? Just finish with the broadcasters, NZ, and then we'll go to English. Um, 
even of course uh, the fans on the panel they, they will be supporting Liverpool at Anfield, but they will be keeping an eye on what's happening at uh, Brighton and City. They will express their feelings, of course, whether it's positive or negative. Do you worry that might affect the game in any shape? No, that's um, completely normal. That's completely normal. Um, I would say maybe a little advice is maybe um, our supporters shouldn't celebrate the result at Brighton until it's uh, not, and before it's three nil for Brighton, and eighty seven or eighty eight minutes played. <laughs> All the rest is only an information, nothing, nothing else. So um, the, our people are so smart; they they did so well over the year. It's unbelievable. Um, so, but it's that's life, and we will not. Um, I don't know. Um, Say it's not allowed or whatever. We are human beings, so react to whatever you want. But the best thing would be to be really in our game because that's the only game we have really influence on. Anything for TV too? Yeah. Um, you say that it's only about pain, and after the uh, the Barcelona match, you spoke about the mentality of giants of the players. What other parts makes them, you know, giants of mentality? Because it's been very impressive how the players have coped with everything. The readiness to, de to, to deal with difficulties, to deal with problems in a game. That's how it is, because um, we, have a, we have a specific plan for a game. And then um, it never works out 100%. And then you have to, but to stay, to stick to the plan, then it's, it's really important. So the, the relationship between us is, um, is um, Got better and better and better and better because of our what we said, our own experiences, what we did together, what we what we wanted to go, to do, what we uh, how we deal with the moments when when it was not uh, that um, beautiful and um, all that stuff. So we really, we the boys did really uh, an unbelievable consistent job, and being consistent is is the, is the most difficult things in life, but in football as well, because there are a lot of. Um, Good footballers out there, but um, to 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 show your quality week in and week out is humble. That's the most important thing to be really successful, and that was the biggest step. Obviously, we did so far. So the boys were a lot of times really happy during a week. It's like, but there never, was never a moment when I had to tell them, "Come on, now calm down." Now information again. So they were always in the right moment there again. So that's how it is. But how can we get 94 points? Um, until this point, and um, with having a, I don't know, a random group of players, we don't have that. We have a really special group, um, and that's why we are where we are. But um, we are still, there are still two very important games to play, and one of them is on Sunday, and um, we need exactly the same again. And um, yeah, if we can do that, then we have a chance to win the game. If we have a chance, we should do it. Adrenaline is not 24 hours. It doesn't stay. It's not like cokes. I don't know. <laughs> but then you said towards probably your professional next of Champions League, and then you have another big entertaining football match. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was brilliant. Congratulations to Portugal. It was brilliant. <laughs> Unbelievable. I would have said, to be honest, um, what Ajax did um, in the whole campaign is just incredible. Unbelievable. So I would say in the game, in the in the final now are the two games, uh, the two teams with um, who showed biggest heart in the whole competition. I would say the best, the most talented group um, is out in the semi-final because Ajax age group wise and stuff like that. So many uh, wonderful players running there around, and they had to pay a price a little bit for the intensity of the game and for the good decisions. Um, um, Maurizio. Didn't have time, eh? so bringing on Lorente obviously was a master st st strike, and um, then having direction the game and all that stuff. So they changed it completely, um, and that's football on the other side as well. So first half, um, I watched the game obviously, and because of the problems around, we have the same problems in family and friends, so booking hotels and stuff like that for the final. Obviously, it's, it's for all us the same, and uh, then my, my son told me probably the Ajax fans start now booking. So at half time, because in each minute can be decisive price wise. Eh? So, and um, yeah, that's it. That's football. Eh? So the reaction was brilliant, and um, um, 
Yeah, I, uh, was outstanding. But what, what Tottenham did, to be honest, that you know, we have three weeks time to be to get angry on them again until we play them. But for that night, I really thought they they deserved it, and and um, was a big was a big one. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Uh,